In. Out. Hey, welcome to Kev's Can Cave. Kev here with you. Appreciate you stopping by. Things aren't always fun in games in the Can Cave. Uh, wife hit a trash can on a 2010 Lincoln MKZ. Passenger side mirrors dangling. Uh, I'm no Bondo Billy. I don't know what the deal was. It, did, it was either me or it, but it didn't want to quite fit right, so I had to use a little persuasion. But uh, anyway, uh, check it out. It's, it's my first time I've ever compiled a bunch of small uh, segments of video, so bear with me. I hope it helps somebody out. I hope somebody gets some benefit out of it. The biggest thing is locating where the screws are to get to this thing. I just, if I don't have to take something totally apart, I won't. Check it out. Thank you. Bye-bye. Wife first trash can. This thing's not going to fix itself. If you go to your door handle, you'll see there's a plastic piece in here. I already pre-loosened it. I just used one of these little plastic crowbars and got in there and it popped right out. I'll show you what it looks like here in a second. This is what that piece looked like. It's just got three little tabs on back. And what that does, you can see where the tabs plug in, that exposes a T20 bolt head. So get your T20 out. There's that T20. Next thing I did is I came around to the end of the door and found this little tiny oval shaped panel here. It pops out. You know what I thought was pretty cool about it. And it looks like it exposes a T20 also. After getting the second T20 out of the end of the door, I came over and I wanted to relook at this again. Because I'm, I'm not no Bondo Billy. If I can take this, if I can just loosen this door panel enough to get this out and get to them three nuts in there, I'm good to go. So after doing some gentle prying right in this area, I found a couple clips I could loosen. So hopefully I can get to this without taking more of this door off. That's the last thing I want to do. Looks like that pop loose. You can see where it plugs in with a metal clip. So you can see I've exposed the nuts I need to get to to take this mirror off. Let me just fill around this thing and see where else it plugs on to. Okay, you remember we have the top clip here. There's another clip down here and through some finagling that just came right out. That was actually pretty simple. Okay, so far so good. I figured before I start messing with them nuts on them bolts, looks like this right here is just a pinch together deal. So I can kind of scoot that out of the way for now. Might have to give these little bolts a, a little tap just to knock loose whatever's holding them here. But I just gave them a little tiny tap and she pulled right out. So uh, there's the junker there. New one sitting over here. Well, there's the new mirror, 70 bucks or whatever. You can pop off these little protective covers. This mirror actually came in a pretty cool little reusable bag. Looking on here, there's a clip here that we know has got a clip into there. So let's try it. Okay, like I was saying, if you look at this, you got a clip here, which I can see that on the new one. And then you see this little hole here. So I started looking at the new one and I'm like, what the heck? It's a clip. There's the hole for that post, but they kind of forgot the post because if you look at the old one, there's that post. I don't, I don't quite get that. Crazy. There's that post. It's kind of 
surrounded by this foam here, but we got to push it into this clip here. I wish I could tell you that this was really going good, but everything went good up until putting the mirror on the car. And uh, it has so much foam on it, it's like putting a, a marshmallow on a parking meter. So I had to get my cant twist out to try to squeeze it enough to get this bolt so I can get a nut on it to get it to squeeze through. Otherwise, it, it wasn't even going through. Took a little bit of persuading, but I was able to get to where I can get this nut started on the bolt. But I like the foam was so thick that when you're sitting there trying to pull the mirror in, just... All right, that ended up working pretty decent. Uh, get her plugged in here and I'll get her back together. Got a clip and a guide pin right here on this piece here. So as we put her on down there, once you get that guide pin and that clip started in there, she snaps right back in place. Now we can tuck this door back in. I guess before I get too carried away, I better make sure it works. In, out, up, down. <laughs> 